It's six o'clock in the morning. Neamia Vitale is already hard at work. He's preparing the umu, his family's traditional Sunday feast. By the time the sun rises, the rest of his extended family is up. Naomi's cousins prepare the breadfruit, and he takes care of the coconuts. On Sunday, everybody of the family are having a day off. That's the only day we all stay together at home as a family. Family is central to life in American Samoa. Naomi's whole extended family shares this plot of land. Even when relatives die, they stay here. But Naomiya has a dream to leave this place. I really want to play football, you know, at the college. And I just want to finish that in the NFL. American Samoa lies in the middle of the South Pacific Ocean. The continental United States is more than 5,000 miles away, and the isolation is palpable on the island's coastal villages, where a slower pace of life persists. During the last century, since these islands have been in American territory, Samoan traditions have been mixing with imported American culture. Blue AD, blue AD, Football has become the island's most popular sport. We thought it's gotta be faster than that, faster! Here at Leone High School, where Neamia plays football, half of all the boys at the school tried out for the football team. And then running backs behind, knowing which, which hole to get there. Okay, one cut, get there. Okay. 41 players in the NFL are of Samoan descent, and three players from American Samoa were drafted just this year. Football is more than a game here. It's a way off the island. Ever since football has been introduced to American Samoa, um, it's been a, it's almost, it's been like a doorway for kids to um, go out and further their education. Pati estimates that 15% of these kids will receive scholarships to play college football in the U.S. <laughs> Neamia, who is about to begin a senior year, is one of those players. I think he has a chance. You know, he's a hard worker. He never misses practice. He's got a great work ethic. I think he has a great chance. <laughs> now tomorrow, okay, I know our defensive coaches want to get into individual again. As Naomiya and the lucky 15% practice for their last year of high school football, they are also preparing for what will surely be an abrupt transition from American Samoa to American college. You know, get your chores done, okay? Make sure you thank your parents for letting you be part of this program. Okay? At the stage, you know, I'm supposed to, you know, get ready for that. Because out there is not a, you know, it's, they're growing fast, you know, not down here. Everything is simple. I'll be missing the my house, my home, my home, you know, my family, and also my village. In American Samoa, the world is reduced to two places. You're either on island or off island. Naomiya, like most of his fellow players, has always been on island. Here, free time is divided between family and church. He attends mass every morning at 5.30. On Sundays, it begins a little later. After he gets home from church or practice, Naomiya has a long list of chores, including feeding the family's pigs. He doesn't complain. Samoans are taught at an early age to respect their elders' wishes. Mostly church is the most important thing, you know, for the church and family. All things are important down here. Naomiya's family lives a modest life. They built their house by hand, but ran out of money before finishing it. This room serves as the family's bedroom, dining room, and living room. But 
this could all change if his ultimate goal of playing professional football comes true. He stands to make a lot of money, but how much, he's not exactly sure. But he's heard rumors. You know, you get paid for the NFL, like 2,000, 1,000 you know, every month. One or two thousand dollars a month is an almost unimaginable dream for Naomiya. His father makes six hundred a month working construction. Naomiya gets no allowance for all of his chores. But it's also clear that this is not about the money. He speaks with deep respect for Joe Salavea, the Washington Redskin who is from this same village. Not so much about his skills as a football player, but about the standing Salavea's family has in the village because of the son's accomplishments. His family has a, a beautiful new house, you know. I think he's the one who sent the money for the, for the house. This is my, you know, some more favorite song. As night falls, Naomiya rushes to get dinner cooked before his dad comes home from his 12-hour shift. It's his last chore of the day. A year from now, if he can get a good SAT score, keep his grades up, not to mention perform on the football field, Naomiya could leave this island for the first time and play college football somewhere in the U.S. I think I can do it if I have my heart and all out and fight for it. I think I could do it.